Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and on today's video, we're going to take a look at something which is actually really important for a lot of you out there, especially if you're having problems with your internet connection, whether it be on Ethernet, a wired connection, or whether you're using a built in Wi Fi card or a separate USB Wi Fi adapter. Now, this is more tailored towards motherboards that have integrated Wi Fi, but the principles are exactly the same. So essentially what you're gonna be wanting to do is to make sure that you're actually using the correct drivers for your devices. Now quite often when you do a fresh installation of Windows 10 or Windows 11, or you run Windows updates, Windows will look at your hardware and kind of guesstimate and say, well, I think you're using this, so maybe let's try installing that driver. And quite often that works absolutely fine. But if you're finding that sometimes your internet is a little bit laggy, unstable, or you're getting random disconnections, or just not getting the speeds that you expect, then this video should help you. So let's go to the computer, and I'll show you what you need to do. Okay, so first of all on our computer, we're gonna go into Device Manager and go into our Network Adapters, just so we can see what Windows thinks we've got, and it would be a really good idea if you can actually validate these with your motherboard manual, or alternatively go to the website for your particular motherboard, and just confirm this is the right selections. So currently on here, we've got a Realtek 8852BE wireless LAN adapter, which is Wi-Fi 6, and it's on a PCI Express NIC, which is built into the motherboard. And for our ethernet, we're using the Realtek Gaming 2.5 GBE family controller. So that driver basically encompasses a lot of the different varieties which are available on the market. So what we're gonna to wanna to do is to head over to the manufacturer's website, which I've already got here on a tab, Obviously this is gonna be different for whichever motherboards you are using. I'm currently using a Tough Gaming B650 Plus Wi-Fi. If you're struggling to find the web page or the drivers for your particular device, please do reach out in the comments section or alternatively head over to our Discord for a quicker response. So we're gonna go into drivers and tools as we've got here, and we're gonna choose the correct operating system. So Windows 10 or Windows 11, we're on Windows 11. Quite often there will be a combination driver which works with both Windows 10 and Windows 11. So don't be too concerned if you only get an option for Windows 10. The driver should work fine on both editions. So luckily for us, the top one here is our LAN, or this is our wired internet. So this is saying that it's using the RTL 8125 LAN driver, which is absolutely fine because if we look at the documentation for the motherboard, it does say on there quite clearly it uses a Realtek chipset for the 2.5 gigabit ethernet. You can also check on the dates on here. So you may find this one here is from 2022. We're currently in 2024, so it's actually quite an old driver, but this is the specific one for your motherboard. So it's at least the default one. So we're gonna go ahead and download this one. I'm gonna save it to our Windows desktop. It is a zipped file, so we'll need to unzip that. So we'll take care of that shortly. So that is our driver there. So the next one is the wireless adapter. Now on this particular motherboard, depending where it's bought around the world, there are actually different Wi-Fi units used. So you will need to double check, possibly, with Device Manager and see what it is. So here it's saying we're using the Realtek 8852BE wireless LAN, as we said earlier. So that is a Realtek. So the options here would have been for an MTK device, a MediaTek Wi-Fi driver, or a Realtek one. So this one matches up with what we've got listed. So this is the one we wanna choose. Again, looking at the date, it's actually quite an old driver, but that's absolutely fine because this is the one which is designed to work with your motherboard. So let's go ahead and download that one as well. We're also gonna save this to our Windows desktop. So now we're finished with these downloads, we can minimize this window. So now we need to extract the files. Now, if you're not too sure how to extract files in Windows 10 or Windows 11, it's actually quite simple. All you need to do is to right click on it and you can choose extract all and that will extract to your desktop and that will give you your files which we need. So there is the setup file which we'll need shortly. So we can minimize that one, that is for our LAN. So now we can try the Wi-Fi one. So let's right click and choose extract all and we'll choose extract. And there we go, we've got the same thing again. So once you've extracted the files, if you want to, you can already go ahead and delete these two just to save any confusion. So now we've got our two drivers. So let's go ahead and do the LAN driver first. So we'll go into the folder. We've got an ASUS setup EXE. You may have a similar thing. So if it's an MSI product, it may have a MSI installer. Just look for an executable program. Alternatively, if it hasn't, you can actually dive deep into the actual folders and look for what is known as an INI file. So you can install it manually, but that's something for another video. So let's start the ASUS setup. 
and you'll get the user account control because this is a driver level change. Click on yes. And it will begin the setup. Now this is pretty straightforward stuff. Chances are there won't be any real user intervention. So in this instance, because I've actually got the same driver, you can choose modify. You can choose repair or remove. So I'm going to choose repair because we're going to reinstall our driver. If you're doing this for the first time, you may just get an install option. So there we go, maintenance complete, that is done. So we can click on finish. Now, if you're only using wired, then this is fine. You can carry on now. I would suggest doing a restart of your computer, but because we need to do another driver, let's go ahead and do the Wi-Fi one. So again, we're just gonna choose the ASUS setup. And again, you'll get our user account control notification, click on yes, and essentially just let it go through and do its own thing. And that one was extremely quick. So it just installed the INI files. Potentially when you're doing this, you may find as well down in the taskbar down here, you'll see that it's disconnected and reconnected if it has to reinstall the drivers. So don't worry if any of that happens. But essentially that is uh, pretty much it. So we can close these windows down now. You can, if you want to, remove these files or maybe save them on a USB stick for a rainy day. The choice is entirely up to you. I generally remove them. And a very good thing to do now would be to go to your start and choose restart. Don't do shutdown, do restart, because that will load a new kernel. Shutdown is uh, yeah, not ideal for when you're doing drivers. Make sure you do a restart. You can do a shutdown after, should you need to. So there you go, there is a top tip on how to get your Wi-Fi and potentially your ethernet working as intended. This is really useful again, if you're having issues with either lag or ping is absolutely mad, possibly Windows has installed the incorrect driver. Again, if you've got any problems, or you need help finding the drivers for your specific setup, then please do reach out to us either in that comment section below or alternatively head over to our Discord chat where you can ask any questions in the technical support rooms. I think that's gonna wrap this video up. I've been Mike, this is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.